My name is Jessica Chambers and I'm running for town council for people like you and me who power this place. I'm running for vulnerable people, marginalized people in our community that are often unseen and need an advocate on the town council. The top three issues facing our community are housing, I'm actually going to add a fourth, housing, human services, COVID, and water. And can I put them in any kind of order? Absolutely not. When we house people, when we give them the services they need, they're better able to recreate, enjoy the environment, care about the environment and the ecosystem, and thereby take care, want to be stewards. But if people are worried about where they're going to put their head at night or how they're going to pay their groceries, pay their rent, the ecosystem and the care for it is not. I mean, that's definitely in the back seat. And without water quality, that's another one of those basic human needs that if people don't have safe water, that's, that's, a, that's abhorrent. That's a travesty that is, that is unequal, that is inhumane. And so that just goes, that belongs right in there with housing, human services, and COVID too, because people that are already at risk to getting COVID, they're at risk for you know, contracting or you know, their, their conditions being worsened by poor water quality. Everything comes back to revenue and funding. And I know that a lot of people, not a lot of people, but there are some people that say, we just need to tighten our belt and you know, really dial back. We just need to be more efficient with our spending. And that's not the case at all. Our budget right now is bare bones. Our operating budget is covering core services, which is why I support the seven cent sales tax increase. And if all we can cover right now are our core services and we can't even meet the needs of our wastewater management if we were to increase those standards, which would increase the, the amount of energy we need to use there, uh, that comes down to having more money. And we don't have it. We could increase the lodging tax, which is, you can only use the lodging tax revenue for certain things. One of those being to offset visitor impact, which potentially could be our water quality because visitors have just as much of an impact on our, our wastewater system as anyone. The role that the county and the town should have with wastewater uh, management infrastructure is a huge one. Like I said before, we're all connected and there isn't a, there isn't a resource that makes that more evident than our water. The town has more ability to take action within the town limits, potentially limiting the use of certain kind of lawn products and fertilizers for our lawn care, similar to what we did with the plastic bag ban. It might not be popular, but I think sometimes what a leader is required to do is balance representation with leadership and letting the community know that this this is something that's really important. This is going to benefit us in the long run. And it really is one of the more important pieces that we really need to address, more so than anything else that's essential. I mean, water is life.